my fellow youtubers welcome back welcome back to my channel hi this is Nikki Poo so you guys know that I had ordered two regular ETBs and one uh, booster box and like I think like 24 single packs and six of the three pack blisters for temporal forces. So I opened up everything except I kept four of the singles. And I kept one of the three pack blisters. And I kept that just that just stays in my in my stash in my little collection you know so I opened up everything else and here's my binder and just to show you how far along my binder is with the products that I have opened up so far I'm gonna start off I got a whole row of um, cold cards there for my fellow gamers Figured it'll be easier just to lay that out like that and um, go ahead and get you some. But yeah, so I lay out my binder pretty much like the book. Pretty much like this book that, that comes in the ETB, right? And it and it's in the same order, right? So I, I use this book. To mark off all the things that I have pretty easy to follow I, I it keeps me organized um, so it comes in handy it comes in handy so in my binder I pretty much I have come pretty pretty far now I'm not gonna read off all the names you could pretty much see um, what it is that I have and you'll be able to tell what I don't have so as you see I use my energies and I name the card and this is the number of the card so this shows what I need so I'm missing this card a uh, Torterra EX so everything else I have and you'll see that I have like the common and uncommon right next to each other so this way I could tell if I have both of them or not I used to in the beginning hide them behind each other but I found that difficult because sometimes I wouldn't have the reverse or I wouldn't have the common so I would mess up you know so this way it keeps it pretty organized I can see everything and I know exactly what it is that I need and that I'm missing I'm missing and these are the reverses that I'm missing and I write it on there reverse if it's a common that I'm missing um, I put down that it's a common So I try and keep it pretty organized. Like, see, reverse, reverse, you know. So I actually, with the products that I've purchased, um, that I have received and opened already, I think I got pretty far along in this binder. Um, of course, I, I still need quite a bit. There's no doubt. But I am... I am very happy with the progress that I have made with the with the product that I have purchased because I was expecting or thinking it might be a lot less that I would need a lot more you know so I was pretty happy I was pretty happy on that part now when it comes to this set I'm not real enthused with the art I'm not but I like ripping packs so it fulfills in that category but I'm not that excited about this set now there is some art that I do like and I do want and I will show you that when we get to it so 
so I, I'm real happy though that like you can see I, I got quite a bit of cards with the amount of product that I purchased but from some of the reviews that I have seen there is going to be um, kind of difficult to get a lot of the IRs and the SIRs and the gold cards. The gold cards and the SIRs is going to be really, really, really hard to get. According to some of the videos that I watched where people have done massive ripping, I mean like ripping like five cases of this product. So, and, and they still didn't complete the set. They ripped... Um, I think it was Hilltop TCG. He did a video and he ripped five and a half cases, I think, almost six cases of this product. And he still did not complete the set. He's still missing. I think it was four cards he was still missing. So that just goes to show that just ripping packs is not going to be the way to go. You're going to have to buy singles. You're, you're going to have to. Or are you just gonna go crazy like one of an another youtuber I seen he went crazy trying to catch that um, um what was he looking for in chilling rain? the umbreon was it no that wasn't involved these guys it was chilling rain the blaziken V he was trying to get <laughs> that blaziken V and I mean, he was opening up cases after cases after cases. He he, he lost it. He, he lost it. And like I say, it happens because you get so addictive and so focused on trying to rip packs and catch this card, and you you lose it. You forget like like how much product did I just open to try and get this one card? You know, because you're not focused on that. And it happens. It does. But, you know, it's kind of a good thing seeing like some people that can rip, that can afford or have the ability to rip open cases so you can see how difficult it is going to be to master a set. So you already have an idea of, okay, I'm going to spend this much in product and then the rest I'm doing singles, you know. So, it, it's pretty cool that you can watch videos and see that because when I was back in our day when my son was growing up We didn't have that option <laughs> Those weren't options wasn't no videos to watch wasn't no watching people rip packs You just go to the store and you was just buying and ripping. That's what you were doing, you know, so we're we've come a long way where now you can see how hard it is to master sets and gives you an, an option you know what I'm saying and, and like I say this set I'm not really I'm not feeling this set like I, I was the other sets uh, I mean I, that's the honest to God truth it, it, it's the truth I'm not I'm not really not feeling this set like the other um but like I say I like ripping packs I want to complete the set and but there is certain arts in here that I really like there are and they already like I said announced the new set that's coming out in May called Twilight Masquerade now I'm not familiar with the game and how the thing you know the, the stuff go and because there's like stories that go along with this stuff and, and I'm not sure of how this stuff go like this Twilight Masquerade is going to be like Opia or something I can't think of the name and they something about Matt wearing the mask and all this stuff and and I seen some of the art in that and I am really not feeling some of the art in that I I'm totally lost and I and I'm probably lost because I never played the game or don't you know know the story or whatever but just looking at the art itself is very very confusing so it depends on the type of art that you like right it's just like in the real world you might like, um, you got abstract art, you know, you got, you know, the cartoon type art, you got, you, it's all different types of art. So it just depends on what you like. And this is where it comes in when I say every set is not for you. 
So that's pretty much where I stand. You know, this is not a set that was for me. The Twilight Masquerade is another set that's not for me. You know, but there are some things in the set that that I do like. Like I I I like these aspect cards. That pink, the when you the hologram in it, when you look at oh my god, it's just like eye catching. It's, I, I just love it. I love these cards. I and I was able to hit on four of these cards out of seven. There are seven total, and I hit four of them. There was the other one, Hero's Cape, and Prime Catcher. Now, Prime Catcher is supposed to be a popular one, and so is the Master Ball. I didn't get the Master Ball, and then you got the Maximum Belt. Um, those are supposed to be really, really popular as well. Now we're getting into the illustrating uh, illustration art. Uh, or in the illustration rare cards and also getting into the full art and then the SIR etc etc so as you see I have hit on a couple the disappointing part about <laughs> this is that I did not hit on not one of my chase cards now, I hit the Ghastly, but that really wasn't a chase card per se. It was a card that I wanted because I wanted the Gengar and the Marty's Conviction with Gengar. So, I figured since I wanted those two Gengars, then I wanted the Ghastly. But, I did not hit on not one of my chase cards. And the chase cards I have are the Full Art Eerie. The SIR Eerie, Bianca's Devotion, SIR, and um, the Morty's Convection with Gengar, SIR, and the Full Art Gengar. Those five cards are my chase cards. Those are the five cards that I really want, I really like. Um, and I didn't hit on not one of them. Now I kind of like like this walk and wake. I like I kind of like that background. I like that art. Um, I also like the walk and wake SIR. But they're not. I like them, but they're not like must haves. You know what I'm saying? I like it. It just doesn't like. Mm. You know. Mm. But they're okay. You see, I don't have much at all on this page. I just got this one full art right here. So the one I want goes here. The Gengar full art. And then the Eerie full art. These two, you know. But as you see, it's going to be hard to complete. Now these are where my three chase cards go, right here. The Bianca's Devotion, the Eerie, and the Morty's um, Conviction. All SIRs, these three right there. You know, and I was able to cop one gold card. I hit on this one gold card. The Iron Boulder EX. So, and can you believe it? You know, you think like you start off and there's no way right now that you'll be getting dupes. Well, because I was opening different products, I did get some dupes. Because I opened an ETB, then I opened a booster box, and then I opened the individual sleeve packs. And then I opened three pack blisters. So, that left me open to getting dupes so you have your these two right here are your promo cards and this is also the promo card that came out of the three pack blister and back here is where all my dupes are so 
I have these three EXs, all these EXs. These are all dupes. All dupes. And then, Illustrated Rare dupes. I have those dupes. So, I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting to get dupes already. And I mean, I, I pretty I got a lot of a lot of dupes, especially on the EXs. But you're gonna hit on a lot of EXs because there are a lot of them in the set as well. So you figure on each ETB, you're gonna get at least four or five EXs, maybe six EXs out of each booster box. Right? Out of a booster box because booster boxes you'll be getting anywhere from 12 to 15 hits in a booster box which is great that's what i'm talking about you see what i'm saying you're getting your money's worth 12 to 15 hits yeah that's worth it that's worth it you know I, there's like i said there's been times i've opened up booster boxes Earlier on, not in the not in the Scarlet Violet era, Sword and Shield era and back, you may get five hits. You know, it's like that's that's ridiculous. You're paying a hundred dollars for a booster box and you get five cards. That's like twenty dollars a card. Like really? It's crazy. So I love the hit rates. I'm 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 loving it. And like I say, it's Scarlet and Violet era. That's one of the things that has been um, the focus is that the hit rates in Scarlet and Violet are great. Great. And that's why the price of the cards are a lot less right now. But like I say, over a period of time, years go by these cards, the value will go up as well. It's just time. You know, that's what happens time so guys I just wanted to show you how far I have gotten with the products that I have opened so far so you can get an idea yourself on how this goes and uh, is it worth it do you want to complete a master set or do you just want to go after your chase cards or just wait and just buy the single if, if you, there's chase cards that you like or whatever and you don't want to master the set just wait just wait and then buy the single that you want but again everything is trial and error everything is up and down you just don't know it's the gamble right because sometimes if you wait you may have did better buying it in the beginning because that car value could shoot up at any time and vice versa the car value could start high and tank it can happen either way. It's like the stock market, right? You don't know. You're taking chances. That's it's the same thing. Same thing. So what you have to think about is, is it worth it? <laughs> What's worth it to you? What do you want? You know? So for me, this is straight enjoyment. I'm not worried about value and all that stuff. I Like I say, I enjoy the art. Um, like I said, this is not necessarily a set for me. Um... Same thing with the next set that's coming out. That's not necessarily a set for me. But I'm sure there will be some art in there that I will like. And will be going after. But as far as the set as a whole. I'm not really enthused with this. So. But I am going to complete the set. Or try to anyway. I'm going to try. So. Until next time guys like comment subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you'll be notified on my next video until then this is nikki poot and i'm out peace